Welcome back to the UMass Fruit Advisor. John Clements here for UMass Extension. And today is September 24th, 2005. Again, we're out in the UMass Cold Spring Orchard in Belchertown, Mass. And I wanted to tell you about uh, some early Fuji strains. Uh, one in particular we've been looking at. Now normally Fuji in New England, Massachusetts, uh, we would, would ripen and mature about the middle of October. However, recently there's several new strains of Fuji uh, that ripen more towards the middle of September, about a good month earlier than regular Fuji. And these include, for example, September Wonder Fuji, uh, Daybreak Fuji, and the one we're going to look at quickly today here is Rising Sun Fuji. Now, Rising Sun Fuji uh, came from Wally Hauser and International Plant Management. It was tested as CG1023, I believe. And as you can see, it's a nice red coloring Fuji. Actually, I probably could have uh, picked it a little bit earlier here, about oh, a week or so ago, maybe around the 17th, 18th, 19th of September. I'm a little late on it, so it's got some really nice color here. A nice, attractive Fuji. These trees are in their third leaf. Um, I should say that it really looks like a regular Fuji too, which is kind of nice. Some of the earlier Fujis that came along, such as Yataka, um, were a little bit different. So, uh, I was, just say, was saying these trees are in their third leaf. Um, the rootstock, I, I think, is either M9 or Bud9, I can't remember. Had a light crop on them last year. Relatively light crop here in the third leaf, but not too bad. So, we're going to take these, pick these Fuji, take them inside the lab and test them. And I'm going to tell you what the results were in just a sec. Okay, I just got back from uh, going to the lab and testing these Rising Sun Fuji. Uh, they were about over 3 inches in diameter, about 3.1 inches. Uh, the red uh, skin color was at least 75 to 80 percent. Firmness was 14, which is a little low for a Fuji, but these were very ripe. We had a high uh, bricks of 16 percent, and the starch index was a solid 7. A good ripe Fuji here for just starting into the last week in September for Massachusetts. So you ought to consider these. Uh, Fuji do sell pretty well in a retail farm stand. Um, worth trying some of these rising sun. Before I go, I wanted to mention briefly that uh, we're ready to pick these Red Cork Cortland. Cortland's a popular apple here in New England. And if you'll notice, Cortland has a habit of growing in doubles like I'm showing you here. And these fruits stick together. And this year we had a pretty significant problem with oblique banded leaf roller in this block. It's a moth that uh, gets in and chews the apples. Here's what the damage looks like. And I didn't pick it up till a little bit late, but most of the damage started like in June. Uh, with this oblique banded leaf roller and it can be a real problem if it gets away from you because uh, at harvest you can see apples with a lot of oblique banded leaf roller damage they chew the skin and into the flesh of the fruit um, are not marketable so next spring we got to be on top of this with some insecticide sprays after bloom for the three or four weeks after bloom to keep the oblique banded leaf roller in check I should also mention that fruit that is damaged early will also fall off the tree early, so yields will be reduced with this oblique banded leaf roller damage, in addition to finding the injury at harvest. So until next week, enjoy this nice picking weather. This is John Clements, the UMass Fruit Advisor. We'll see you next week.